What's good, family? How long has it been since you've seen a classic vlog style video in my house with the GoPro camera? How long has it been? It's been a long time. But hey, my dad got this bike for free. It was just sitting outside someone's house with a free sign on it. He got it, put new inner tubes in the wheels. It's pretty small, but like, it's still hella fun to ride around on. So yeah, you just get, you get a ride on a bike with me. I get into like a meditative mind state while I'm riding this bike. I don't know why, it's just, it's like when you're walking and you can just like think better, but it's on a bike so you're moving even faster. So, it's pretty cool. But anyway, how you guys been? It's been a while. I hope you guys have been growing and evolving because I know I have it's been a long time since I've been able to just have fun riding a bike just like the simple you have to be able to appreciate the simplicity of it all and to just see things for what they are and not overcomplicate it with your human rational thinking brain you know you don't have to do that about everything you don't have to rationalize every little thing in your life I mean, I'm literally just this animal, this monkey spacesuit, holding a bike and walking. And that's all there is to it. Yeah, there are deeper layers to it. I mean, there's a lot going on here. It's not really just how I explain it. There's more to it, right? But what I said also is true though. Like, I am just this human monkey suit walking with a bike. And it really is that simple. And a lot of times I feel like we get so caught on all the complicated stuff that we can't even just enjoy the simple, just the little things, man. Like, yes, I'm here right now. I'm here. And it's that's all there is to it. Like, but it's funny. Imagine just on camera, a lightning bolt comes down and strikes me right now. How would you guys react? Would you like the video and comment if I got struck by lightning right now? Oh. <laughs> I keep almost falling because I'm trying to record. <laughs> hey, I like to do jumps on those. That's fun. I get this feeling that we as human beings or whatever we refer to ourselves as, because if you think about it, human beings is just a term that we made up to make us think we know what we are. But I don't think that term encapsulates the truth. But anyway, I feel like what we are is like a seed, like a tree that grows. And right now we're just little seeds and like little saplings. We're like just starting to come out of the dirt and but the thing is we have to get through the soil to get to the fresh air and that soil comes with baggage it's all of our programming all of our collective unconscious memory our personal unconscious memories and stuff like that and you got to get through that soil to finally sprout and get to the air and start growing and like becoming the beautiful massive lovely tree that you're meant to become and yet we get so identified with the seed and the form of the seed that we come in that we think that's who we are that you're just the seed and by believing that because you're so powerful you actually prevent yourself from ever growing and sprouting into what you're meant to become the tree can look very different than the seed the outcome 
can look very different than the beginning stages. You have to allow change, not get scared when you start to change. A lot of people, they start to change and they don't like it because it's new and then they just don't change. But you're changing because you're meant to change. So let yourself change and grow and become whatever you're meant to become. Because we're all meant to become something and we're all so unique. We all have our own design that we will fulfill if we allow ourselves to grow and provide ourselves the nutrients and time needed to become what we're meant to be. That's just how I've been feeling though.